was the last time you got rejection? One hour ago. This morning? Yesterday? A few weeks ago? Or just last month? For me, I get rejection every day. Oh no, I try to get rejection every day. Why? First, I want to start with my story. Exactly one week ago, uh, it was half past 10 p.m. and I was on the way to some restaurant to ask for a job. And some people might think it is pretty ridiculous because, um, but this is the first time I actually going out asking for a job because I always think I don't speak Dutch and my English is not good enough, so no one will want to hire me. And at that moment, I realized that I'm having the fear of rejection. And I can realize that I will never be able to get rid of it. But then after a while, I decided to look at it in another way. The rejection is healthy if over 1,500 times of it helped Sylvester Stallone get the main eye of one of the most financially successful movies of all time, aka Rocky, being cut off by base, baseball basketball team helped Michael Jordan to be one of, to be the best basketball player of all time. And being rejected by the restaurant helped me to start her first own business. Every rejection brings you closer to your goal. And by using the word healthy rejection, you are transforming something negativity into something positivity. For example, healthy McDonald's, how awesome it is. <laughs> healthy McDonald's, healthy McDonald's. It's just some way to check your mind. Yeah. And some people think rejection is the way to sacrifice yourself to, do, to get something better. But I like to think it is a new way to a new way to explore the new thing that we haven't explored yet. So, uh, and there is a short quote which I really like, appreciate the effort, not the victory. So today, maybe I want to get 10 rejections from the restaurant, and then after I have done everything, so that's it. I won't let myself be depend on the reaction uh, on the decision that the restaurant gave me. And in this way, I can control my whole life.